Most High. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord, master of the universe, ruler of the world, captain of my soul, deliverer of the helpless. You are the husband of the widow. You are the father of the fatherless. You are a friend that sticks closer than a brother. All these names are yours. You are everything and anything to any man, anywhere, all around the world. For God is rich to all. And in every nation, and every tribe, anyone who calls upon the, the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes, you are Jesus. Yes, you are Jesus. <laughs> yes, you are Savior. Hey. Yes, you are Savior. I. Yes, you are my Father. You are my father. You are my father. You are my father. Father, hey, father, hey. Father, hey, father, hey. Father, hey, father, hey. Father, hey, father, hey. Hey, father, hey, father, hey. You are my heavenly father. If you don't know how to call God your father, if you don't know how to relate to God as a father, your Christian work is not complete. Hey, father. That's where authority starts from.
de Rikidi, Usa Pere de Kepalia, Shabaratanapa, Yepanada Bakapara, Open up, open up. And Jesus cried out on the last day, If anyone thirst, let him come to me, for out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his belly shall flow a simple like a fire. And I was shown up a river when I put my leg into it. He came up to the ankle, then to the knee, and then till he overflows until it became a river that no man can swim. Oh, 
Pastors, ay 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 ay. Oh, the word of the Lord has come for someone here. After this meeting, do as occasion serves you. I am an separator. I said, do as occasion serves you. Elebe lo kubila asibere de pelataya ekebele ko prediki kila esupra da katelaba o rapa la sal le do river flow the river flow I'm hearing the river Genesis two the river is called Pison ayaya the river Pison is the river that leads to the land of Avila where there is gold. The river is rising. The river proceeds from the from the throne of God, and the Bible says they became four rivers: Pisim, Euphrates, and the two others. But they said Pisim led to the earth. says in Genesis 2 that the, a river flowed from the throne of grace and then it separated onto four rivers. One of the rivers is called Paisi and the Bible says that one leads to the land called Avila where there is gold. You know what that means? By the time you engage the river in your spirit man it begins to navigate you to where treasures are. Bison. I can't remember the meaning of bison now. So what we are doing tonight, we are engaging the river of God in our in our spirit man, that it now begins to flow. We've created structure here. There's a, there's a law in the realm of the spirit called structure and flow. Once you create structure, it must flow. Before they put power from, from the source into this place, we have to create structure where power can land. Because if, we, if, if, if they brought power without structure, this place will move. So we created structure for power to flow. So what we are doing tonight is creating structure, enlarging our appetite, so that the power of the spirit can flow. Lift your hands. We welcome you. We welcome you. Allah. We welcome you. We welcome you. You know why we are beckoning on the spirit of, the, of grace when it comes you will know exactly what to do when the spirit of grace is released boldness is released just like the way the 120 experienced it when the spirit of the Lord is released direction comes you know exactly what to do the spirit of truth tells you exactly what is wrong that is what is not discernment Isaiah 11 the spirit of the, the spirit of the Lord the fear of God the spirit of wisdom these are the dimensions of the spirit, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might. So when you say, I welcome you, I welcome you. I welcome you, I welcome you. For the spirit searches all things. Yay! The deep things of the heart. I welcome you. Somebody welcome the spirit in your houses. I see things lost being found. I said I see things lost spiritually and naturally being found. I see you finding the key for where the spirit of the Lord is. There must be liberty. I see you finding the key is the spirit of truth and the Bible says you shall know the truth it's not talking about 
an idea. You shall know a person. Call the truth. And this person shall set you free. When the spirit of grace comes, it's easy. I said grace cancels insults. Grace gives you power, enablement to do the things you cannot do normally. Hey, I welcome you. I welcome you. I reference you. I reference you. I receive you. I receive you. Hey, we welcome you. We welcome you. The river is flowing. Ay, ay, ay. The river is flowing. Asha. The river is flowing. It's flowing to your house. I release spicy. The river. Be sure. The river. Let it flow to your house. The river is flowing. Let it flow to your life. The river is flowing. The river is flowing. The river is the spirit of God flow. 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 The river is flowing. The river is flowing. The river is drenching. Spirit of grace, spirit of power, spirit of love, love, spirit of love, love, drown every hatred. Oh, my God. 
We didn't show up here for miracles. No! No! We came to contact the real thing. The real thing that produces miracles. I said we came to contact the real thing that produces miracles. Ayabarada. Peter said we, we, we toyed all night and caught nothing. But at thy word, we launch into the deep. After they caught that net breaking miracle, they dumped it and followed the one who said, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. The miracle they were, they were expecting, they caught more than they can handle, and they dropped it because life is more than miracles. No, 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 life is more than miracles. No, 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 no. What do you stand for? This is the season where you have to stand for something. Because if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. I know you have some things you are believing God for. Take that aside. Take that aside. He wants to make you, make you, make you a sign and a wonder. The Lord said, the Lord said to me, I'm not, I'm not bankrupt of my, of my, of my act. I'm looking for men. I'm looking for men. For the eyes of the Lord goes to and fro on the earth. Looking for who? That he wants to show himself. This gospel of give me, give me, give me, give me is what has brought us to this point. No, we need men to carry fire. 300 foxes lit from the tail, ready to cause man. Until you get this, you've not gotten anything. Just one passion, one purpose. Just one passion, one purpose, hey, to know you more and more. Um, when I know you, I'll find you. Because no lie outside you. I know you lift it up everybody stay just one passion just one passion hey. one purpose to know you to know you more and more when I know you when I know you I'll, I'll find, find you say just one passion
Jesus. Somebody say like this. I want to know you. I want to know you more and more. When I know you. When I know you. One more time say. I want to know you. I want to know you more and more. When I know you.
spirit as we are singing. But let me tell you, eternity is not a place. Eternity is a journey of dimensions in God. It's not a place. Eternity is a journey of dimensions. And I tell you by the revelation of the spirit, the first dimension God will show you about him is love. For God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave, you will understand that God is love. There are these things that are three things that are by them. Love, hope, and what? He said the greatest is love. The next dimension is called light. In your light, we see light. Psalm 36. For every good and perfect gift, James 117, comes from above, from the Father of light, in whom there's no variableness. The third dimension is fire. For our God is a consuming fire. The Bible says in Revelation 1, say, fire, his eyes are like flames of fire. The next dimension is glory. Glory. 2 Corinthians 3.18 As we behold with an unfaith face, we are changed into the same image. How? From glory to glory. And when you enter the dimension of glory, there's no turning back. If you've had anybody who's gone to be with the Lord, the reason they cannot come back is because the glory attracts. Once they see the glory of God, they keep moving. They keep going to the glory. So when you say, take me by the end, lead me to it, the Bible says Enoch walked with God and he was not. That's the dimension. Break it up. Enoch operated in the dimension the body of Christ has not entered till now. He operated in rapture. The body of Christ has not experienced rapture. Now imagine the, the generation of Enoch. Enoch walked with God and God took him. It was not for God took him. He operated in dimensions. The body of Christ has not entered till now. Thousands of years later, we've not even experienced rapture. Yet a man walked with God too much and he was not for God picking. If you doubt that, you remember Elijah. Fear. Chariot of fire. They came to pick him up. This man walked in dimension. The body of Christ has not, we've not even smelt it. Then when you say, take me by the end, lead me to eternity. There are dimensions untold. We Take me by the end. What did you think came on, on Mount Carmel? They called it Mount of Transfiguration. That was the last, that was the last, you know, major happening for Jesus. Because glory, after glory, they will take you. It's not possible. Glory picks up. Take me by the air. Lead me to eternity. There are dimensions I'm told. Say, take me by the air.
Baba. Daily as I Often as I breathe, I am. Let my whole life be as precious as your grace. Say daily as I live, often as I breathe.
be. He is in control. You are trusting God for the womb of the for the fruit of the womb. He's in control. You are trusting God for something. He's in control. You know what he said I should declare? Say, he shall do me like a priest. Say, he shall do me like a priest. When the Lord turn it around, it will do you like a dream. Like it, like it, like it will do me like a priest. Flow. 
And the Bible says he lifted it up and gave thanks. You know, he did that miracle twice. The story of 5,000, the story of 7,000. As one of them, they came back again and said, you go for last meeting. Ah, we had to. So they invited 2,000 more. And then, you need, you need to be in the meeting. We had to. Evangelism by food. But that's not where I'm going. There is no miracle the Lord does that he will not do in surplus. There must be surplus. My life is a testimony. Any project the Lord gives me, I start without money. But by the time we are finishing, there must be surplus. Alaba, the same grace that has worked for me, I release it tonight. I, some people here, you have projects you are believing God for, for capital. All I need you to say is give thanks and start. I declare the grace for overflow. The grace for surplus. Rest upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen, I know where I contacted this grace. Four years, six years ago, I traveled to Lagos for a meeting, for a personal meeting. And as I was finishing the meeting, the Lord said, straight down to water. I said, yes, sir. They were having a minister's conference and Brother Kenneth Copeland was there. I got there around one, they had finished the first session. The second session was church growth from three to five. Being led by Daddy Oyedepo. So meaning that I won't be able to leave until seven. Can I come around this coming back for the evening session? And the Lord said, wait, stay. He came up stage at 7.20 thereabout. Started singing and started singing my father's favorite hymn. I knew it was a setup. And then at a point, he turned to where I was, like he was looking at me. And I tell you this under God. This is the first time I'm saying it openly. Something left his eyes and hit me. Damn. And then he, for you to know that God said it to me, and then he mentioned my favorite scripture. And after he declared that favorite scripture, he started talking about the fact that many years ago in his ministry he wanted to start and they did not have one naira and God was giving him like $40,000 project at the end of that year they had some loss the Lord said yes that's it I left that place that night in the meeting sorry in the meeting a man called me and said where are you sir I said I'm in Lagos when are you coming back to Abuja? I said, tomorrow morning. He said, as soon as you come, come to Abuja, see me. I said, I'll get He said, don't get home. From airport, just come. And he looked at me. I left the airport, went to him. He looked at me and uh, what he put in my hand. He said, what do you want to do? What was the next quarter? What do you want to do? I said, I want to do. He said, do you want to do b -bot? I said, yes. How much is it? I said, it will take. Do you want to bring anybody from America? I said, yes. He said, how much is it? I mentioned it. He said, take. Where do you want to use? I said, this place. He said, no, don't use that place. Use this bigger place. Take. This thing works. The Lord said to me, 2017, go to Eagle Square. I said, no, be me. Then they find there. He said, go to Eagle Square. And we left without money. People, people who are part of Godred, you know what I'm talking about. We started that project with... No, number one, I don't have the financial power. I don't have the workers. I don't have the workforce power to host an event in Eagle Square. Everything looked impossible. And then the Lord said, what you have in your hand is not even enough to pay your house rent. Move now and go and pay for b -bots. I said, we've not paid for the venue. He said, go and do b -bot. My wife was blessed my memory. I didn't even tell her. Carried the money, went to do b -bot. Hello, we've not paid for venue. The 
Did you hear me? I went to minister for a friend of mine outside the, outside the, outside the city. And then one man looked at me after the meeting and said, and I've been trying to meet this man who has equipment because he wanted to use it to give me. So I've been talking to the team and they've been giving me big price because of course. And he said to me, I love, I love what God is doing through you. He said, yes. He said, I've been trying to use your equipment for my meeting. He said, he has heard. He said, how much do you have? I mentioned a figure. He said, pay it. They will come. The Lord said, why did you mention Figo? The next morning, we met at the airport. The Lord said, you better go and talk. I said, sir, I'm thinking again. We have a lot of things to do with money. So, I'm not sure we have money to do it. He said, don't worry, they will come for free. <laughs> A week to the program, we have not paid for the venue. A week to the program. I go to ICC every day to check if they have taken the date. One day the Lord said to me, why are you, on, why are you under pressure? Nobody takes that date. I'm the one that has sent you. Tuesday, somebody called me off. I said, I saw, so we had some money somewhere we used it to do. We couldn't collect cash. But they could use it to do a newspaper advert. So I said, do newspaper advert. We have not paid for the venue. And then somebody saw it in the newspaper and said, ah, I love what you are doing. So, so what do you need to do before Sunday? I want that to be for me. So I don't want everything. The Lord said, you better talk. I said, we are still trying to make sure that we secure the venue. He said, how much is it? I mentioned the amount in millions. He said, send me your account number. In five minutes. Easy control. I am telling you, this grace works. We came here. What you are looking at is a, is a story of grace. We came here. I said, What's the budget? The engineer and architect. Thank God the architect is here. The, the engineer and the architect said, Both of them said, Let's just start. Ah. I said, I, mean, I don't understand. Let's just start. Can you give me a figure that we can work with? Let's just start. We are still starting. Let's just start. We are still starting. How God made this place a reality, I cannot say. But I know he's in control. The last time you look for money for a for a God-given project is the last time forever. He's in control. Master Jesus. He's in control. Say he's in control. The Lord is reminding me one more time. Go and do as occasion serves you. Go and do as occasion serves you. From tonight, go and do as occasion serves you. In the control, Master Jesus. Everybody say we lift your name. Lift your name. We 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 lift your name. 
testimonies here to, us, to encourage you. By the Spirit of the Lord, the Lord said to me, and all, all glory goes to God. I don't share testimonies because I don't want people I don't want people looking to God only for miracles. We can see, we can become miracles. One of the meetings, the Lord said to me, a particular family, call them and ask them what they are believing God for. And after the meeting, I just told one of my assistants to call. And I said, what are you believing God for? And the lady said, uh, a lot of things. She's here right now. And I said, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let it happen. The next day, the next day, somebody who has been owing the family called and said, and they've been trusting God to get a car. I hope I can share it. And they've been trusting God to get a new car. The person called and said, see, I will give you a car. So that I can. They got a better car than what they plan to buy. All glory to Jesus. I'm going somewhere. A lady came to me and said, Blah, blah, blah. The Lord showed me in, your, in my dream that you should pray and hold hands with me. I just stretched my hands and declared the counsel of God. That night, the lady dreamt, found herself fighting with a dog until the dog was weakened. And if I remember the testimony where started vomiting, the dog started vomiting money. The next day, the orders she has not had, people started calling. God is in the midst of us. I'm sharing this for you to understand that there is a God. Not to draw attention to a man. We don't have to pray. See, this place is a place of answered prayers. As a matter of fact, that's not what we came here for. Miracles are a byproduct of what God does in this place. They are byproduct. If they choose before you eternal life and miracles, they don't pick eternal life. That life can produce anything. Jesus said, Jesus summed up his own ministry. John 10, 10. The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I am come to give life and life to the fullest. And the translation says, to enjoy life. Meaning that you are equal to anything. Equal. Meaning that you... God, Jesus carried all the possibilities of God. When he needed money, it wasn't hard. When he needed to heal, it wasn't hard. Because he dwelt from the presence. He flows from the presence. I said that to encourage you. I met a veteran, a feed marshal recently. And he said to me, very recently, and one of the things he said to me is, Anywhere you go from now, you will walk in new anointing. Miracles, signs, and wonders will happen like never before. That same grace I want to release tonight. That in the name of the Lord Jesus, whatever you are believing God for, right now, let it be done. Of the risen Lord Jesus Christ whatever you are trusting God for I don't know whatever it is but I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus let it be done now in Jesus precious name terminal diseases be healed now in the name of the Lord Jesus I declare let doors be open let doors be open let doors be open one more time, let doors be open in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now walk into your high places in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hands and bless him.
and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us, and we shall dwell all the day, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Lift up your hands so you get and let the King of glory come. Somebody say, Lift up your hands so you get and let the King of glory come. One more time, say, Lift up your hands so you get and let the King of glory come. Say, the King.